This is a semi-top-down Metroidvania game I made in 2021 called Jack the Scarecrow. What makes this game special is it's a remake of a remake of a game I made in my teenage years in 2004. According to my friends, the game was one of the best games I'd made at that time. The game had character to it. Something I'd later realise is a sort of secret source for games. Let's go back in time and see where it all started. On a cold October night back in 2004, when I was 13, around 4am, I was watching some Halloween-y type cartoon. Why was I awake at 4am, you may ask? Well, I would stay up all night making video games. I don't remember what the cartoon was, but what's particularly special about this cartoon was the feeling that it gave me. It gave me a tone and a setting that excited me. A tone that I'd not experienced before. I just knew I had to make a game around this Halloween-y feel. I got straight to work and started making this game called Psycho the Scarecrow. You play as a scarecrow character in a Halloween-y afterlife world. What made this game so good was that it had characters that had personalities. The rare game, Conker's Bad Fur Day, was a direct inspiration for me at the time. In Conker, you play as a hungover squirrel who meets unique and interesting characters along his adventure. I thought this was so incredible the first time I played it. I felt like I needed to replicate it, create my own version of these characters. Jack the Scarecrow has four different iterations throughout the past 20-ish years, and I'd like to take you through each attempt. This is the very first iteration, Psycho the Scarecrow. I was still very new to actually making games back then, so to call it amateur is an understatement. You have conversations with characters through message boxes. You use the arrow keys to move around. In every iteration of the game that had a story, it always made you start by talking to Sludge the Pumpkin, one of the many characters you find in the games. In this version, he asks you to speak to the giant pumpkin gatekeeper, the pumpkin gatekeeper then asks you to find his missing pumpkin seeds and proceeds to evaporate, giving you access to hell. You then bump into Sludge again, who asks you to unlock the way so the undead can get through. Being around 13 or 14 at this time, my humour was somewhat adolescent. You then speak to the Grim Reaper, a blatant rip-off of Grim from Conquer, who makes you find a key to get to the next area. The game ends with you having a race with a piece of poop, for some reason. Then the game crashes. I was very proud of this game at the time, despite being blind to the game's many flaws and issues. This is the second iteration, now called Sykes the Scarecrow. This was probably a couple years later and I'd learned a lot of new stuff. You now moved by clicking the mouse. For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to interact with characters and objects by right-clicking on them and selecting an option from a sub-menu. Again, like the original, after talking to Sludge, you go talk to the giant pumpkin gatekeeper guy. This time he gives you a weapon. Unfortunately, that's as far as I went with this iteration. This third iteration was likely made around 2006 to 2007, and it's my most complete version of Jack the Scarecrow at the time. The version that my friends remember fondly. This is the first version called Jack the Scarecrow, and again, here you start talking to Sludge, then speak to the pumpkin guy. You progress onto a bridge where Peter Morgan knocks you down into the hole. You climb out and meet Sludge in Pumpkin Town, as it's the Pumpkin Festival. There's somewhat of an inventory in this game, so you're finally able to use items. There are many more interesting characters and things to explore in this version of the game, but of course, it was never finished. Many years went by and the game was left abandoned. My friends didn't stop asking me to finish the game. About seven years later, I decided to give it another go. Another attempt at rebooting this game. I was a smarter dev by then, and I tried to make a version of the game with a smaller scope and less ambition. Unfortunately, I lacked motivation, so the project was forgotten about for another decade. 
Seeing a project through to the end is very hard. I have hundreds of games that I've never finished making. Only a few that I can say were finished. Game development is hard. So 10 years passed and I'd not long moved out of my parents' house, got married and released my first successful game on Steam. I thought it was time to give Jack the Scarecrow another shot. This time, I was smarter about it. Instead of setting out to make a full game, I set out to make a small demo, a taster of what the full game could be. This was doable. I'd also figured out that it wasn't just the lines of the quirky character dialogue from Conquer that made it so great. It was also the voice acting. Each character had a unique and interesting voice. This new version of the game had to have that. So here is the latest version of Jack the Scarecrow. It's quite short and it does have some flaws, but I was happy with it. If you want to download the game and play it for yourself, the link is in the description. Otherwise, here is the demo. Ugh. Where the heck am I? All right, mate. What the heck? Congrats, mate. You're dead. I'm your guide to the afterlife. So, this is heaven? Uh, not exactly, mate. Why do I look like a scarecrow? Mate, who cares? I'm a freaking pumpkin and a rotten one at that. At least you've got limbs, lucky bugger. Fair point. It's Halloween 24-7 in the afterlife, so get used to it, mate. Anyways, I'm Sludge the Pumpkin. Pleased to meet you, Sludge. I'm Jack. Jack, eh? Jack the Scarecrow. <laughs> so yeah, probably best you head up north to the gate. Not a lot of exciting stuff happens around here anyway. That bloody gatekeeper's a right plonker. Power went straight to his head. I'll probably see you around. We've only got an eternity anyway. Wait, hold on. Come back over here. I shouldn't be doing this, but uh, take this weapon. You're gonna need it round here. All sorts of weird folk about. Never know when they'll need a good slashing. Thanks, Sludge. Appreciate the help. Yeah, yeah, don't get all sentimental on me. Your weapon aims towards your mouse pointer, but only when active. To do that, hold down shift on your keyboard. Then all you gotta do is press left mouse button to attack. It works differently when you're in range of an enemy though. If you're close to an enemy, it automatically locks onto him. Right, I'm off. Why don't you practice on those purple scarecrows? Thanks for the help, Sludge. Oi, you! Get your arth over here. Howdy, newcomer. Name's Skeet. Want to buy one of these award-winning pumpkins from me? Best in all the land. Uh, no thank you. Come on now, don't be your salty Sally. So what brings you to this neck of the woods anyway? Just trying to get through the gates. Ah, uh, good luck with that. Old Cecil ain't the easiest to get along with. You sure I can't interest you in one of these fine pumpkins? Yeah, I'm good. Damn city slicker! Are you death? Get over here! Well, well, another one. Another what? Hey, let of that cheek, boy. If only you knew who you were talking to. You're the gatekeeper? Think you're clever, don't you, scarecrow boy? Trying to poke fun at old Thethel, are we? Your name's Cecil? What's wrong with that? It's a good name. Whatever you say, Cecil. Right, I've had enough of your cheek. I was thinking about letting you in, but not now. 
It's all up to me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, to be honest, I couldn't let you in even if I wanted. My brother Greg has the key, and there's no way he'll give it out to you. Good luck, Scarecrow boy. <laughs> These bloody undead bastards won't bugger off! You, Scarecrow guy, help me out, man! Get rid of these gits! Bloody undead bastards, piss off! Blimey, thanks for that, my guy. Those bastards just won't leave me alone. The second I relax in my fancy schmancy caravan, they show up and cause trouble. You're welcome. Say, I haven't seen you before. You knew? Pretty much. Actually, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Your brother mentioned you had a key for the gate or something? Ah, that's why you came. Not to visit poor old Greggy, just to grab that bloody key. Well, you did save my ass. So here you go. Hey, come back later. I might have something you can help me with. I'll be seeing you, Greg. Hey, come back I'll be Look, I told you, I can't let you in without the... Wait, is that the key? How did you get that? I asked nicely. Poppycock! Fine, I guess I'll have to let you in. He did say you're here for a special reason after all. Who? Special reason? I've said too much. Right, in you go. Run along now. I've said too much. I wonder what he meant by, I'm here for a reason. I guess there's only one way to find out. And that's the demo of Jack the Scarecrow. Perhaps one day the full game will come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Project Spotlight.